Hey, what's poppin'? Like, what's, I forgot my intro. What's poppin'? I mean, like, what's really good? It's your girl, K. Rache, back at it again with another video. And today, I'm coming at you guys with a story time. Yes, a story time. Okay. And don't rhyme, rhymed. Don't mind my dirty room. I just don't feel like cleaning. It's summer. I should not feel like I have to do any work, whether it's school related, home related. We just gonna stay dirty. If this is gonna be a story time of how my kindergarten teacher tried to kidnap me. Yes, lady, it's raining outside. What are you doing? So we gonna take it all the way back. I'm in 10th grade right now. Oh, I'm about to be a junior actually. It's summer, it's summer. I'm gonna be a junior. Hey, turn up. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna take this back to kindergarten, okay? So it was a regular kindergarten day, okay? Actually, was this first grade? Yeah, it was first grade, sorry my first grade teacher i loved her my mom's home hey mom so she ended up getting pregnant and with that being said we got a supply teacher a supply teacher is a teacher that comes in when like your teacher has to take an absence whether it's pregnancy or anything um that's pretty much what it is so we got a supply teacher but this day our supply teacher was sick so yeah we had a sub for our supply teacher crazy it was a normal day we went through everything that we we're supposed to do like learning our shapes what do you learn in first grade the alphabet what were those um words called that we learned like three letter words so yeah we were learning that and then what so it got to the end of the day and our sub job was at the end of the day to make sure that everybody who had like a special like change in dismissal they would like go to their right dismissal whether like they thought that they were a bus rider but they ended up being a car rider or whatever hey. yes Why is that smell in here? hi mom i missed you too oh hey <laughs> she was going through the list calling out people i was like she's not gonna call me because i know what bus i'm supposed to be getting on i'm supposed to get on the yellow bus okay that's the bus that i get on every single day our buses were like by color red bus yellow bus blue bus pink bus so she calls out my name and she's like what bus are you riding today and i was like yellow bus and she was like no you're riding the red bus today and i was like hmm what the red bus i always ride the yellow bus so why are you trying to put me on the red bus mm -hmm. she was like i got an email from your supply teacher saying that you're supposed to ride the red bus today and I was like, that don't make no sense. Like, why would my supply teacher be emailing my substitute teacher to tell me to get on the red bus when I always ride the yellow bus, okay? That don't make no sense. But, I mean, I got past it because I realized that my friend, my best friend at the time, she rode the red bus. So I was like, I'm gonna ride the bus with her. We're about, to, we're about to have so much fun. I think they called you by last name or something like that to get on the bus. It was like A through D get on the bus. And then D, I mean, what comes after D? So it was like that, I think. My best friends at the time, last name started with a J. And my last name starts with a K. So like we dismissed together. So we went to get on the bus. Now I get on the bus, I'm like, I'm gonna sit with you. And she's like, okay. And then I get on the bus and then the bus driver's like, um, you don't normally ride my bus, so you have to sit in the front. And she, my best friend sat all the way in the back. So I was just sitting in the front by myself, clueless of where I was supposed to be going because I mean, I didn't have a phone. So my mom couldn't like tell me like, hey, you're supposed to get on the red bus today. Like the bus driver starts driving or whatever. They're like, skirt, skirt, down the street or whatever and slowly people start getting off the bus as the bus driver stops like slowly people trickle off then we get to like the fifth stop and my best friend gets off the bus she's like bye Kira," and i'm like bye i was like clueless of where i was supposed to be going and my bus driver or the not my bus driver but my best friend's bus driver she was like do you see anyone that you're supposed to be like getting off the bus with and i was like no like none of this area looks familiar to me like i don't think i've ever been on this side of town like i don't know what i'm doing on this bus so i'm just sitting there 
and she's like okay let me know if you see somebody and I was like okay so she just keeps driving and she gets to the last stop and there's no one there that I know everybody gets off the bus I'm the only one left on the bus there's no one there that I would think would be picking me up like I didn't see anyone that I was familiar with that I knew there's there's nobody here so the bus driver was like are you sure you didn't see anyone and I was like yeah she's like okay I guess I have to take you back to school so she picks up the monitor or whatever or the little whatchamacallit the radio and she was like um we have a student on the bus that said that she was supposed to be riding a different bus today and there is no one here to pick her up so what do we do and they came on they're like bring her back to school she has to go to asp or something until her parents pick her up or something like that and i was like and she was like okay on my way so she drives back to school it was like a five minute drive she was trying to start a conversation with me but i was like lady i'm really just confused i'm not trying to talk right now like i'm trying to figure out where i'm supposed to be first off it was like after school hours so the front door was locked so we had to like bang on the door for like five minutes straight for like an administrator to come and open the door the bus driver was like um this student said that she was supposed to be riding on the red bus today um, normally she rides the yellow bus but she got like a her teacher told her to ride the red bus and so there was no one there to pick her up so I was told to bring her back here and they're like okay we're gonna take her to ASP so the bus driver was like okay done with you goodbye so the bus driver left meanwhile my brother and my sister they had gotten home already and they're like freaking out like where is my sister because I just wasn't showing up like I just didn't get off the bus my sister called like multiple times like Kira didn't get off the bus like I don't know where she is she just didn't get off the bus I asked the bus driver she said that she never got on the bus the bus driver said that she thought that she was sick today or something and she went home early and she did, just didn't get on the bus and my mom was like what I think when I got to ASP they took me to the office um, first before like I checked in the ASP and they were like um, what's your mom contact or whatever or what's your name and they looked up because in the nurse's office they always had like the contacts and the little file thingy they would go through the little file and like find your name and pull out the card and have like your parents information their email and like all this contact info they pull it out they're like okay we got your mom's contact we're gonna call her you can go ahead and go to ASP so I went to ASP found some friends I was just chilling I was like my mom should be on the way or something this day I was supposed to ride the bus so normally my mom would be at home like she worked from home some days so normally she would be at home this day she went into work there was really no one to like pick me up from ASP like on time so everybody was in ASP everybody slowly started getting picked up to go and it was like I think we got it at like 2 something like 2 15 something like that and it got around to like 5 o'clock and no one was there to pick me up I was the last person on the bus and the last person in ASP. Like, I, I'm just in last place today. For the last couple of people in ASP and like ASP is supposed to be closed or whatever, they will take you to the front and you just have to like sit on the little bench by like the ASP checkout and wait on your parents to come. So it was like three of us, the other two left and I was just stuck. Like, no one is here to pick me up. Finally, my mom comes through the door and she's like, sorry, like she wasn't supposed to be in ASP today or whatever. And they were like, yeah, we know who she is or like the situation or whatever. So my mom picks me up or whatever. This is like towards the end of the year now. And when you're supposed to get like your report card or whatever. So if you have any charges, then they can't like give you your report card or anything like that. For ASP, you have to pay to like have your kids stay after school or whatever. And so I wasn't supposed to be in ASP. My kindergarten teacher messed me up. I wasn't supposed to be on the red bus. I was supposed to be on the yellow bus. So I ended up going to ASP. My mom never paid the charge or whatever. So they like sent a note home with me one day saying that like my mom had to come to school or I, I had a charge or something. And my mom came to school with me one day and she was like, hey, they said that she has a charge or something. She can't get her report card or whatever. She has like an outstanding balance or whatever for ASP. And they're like trying to say, yeah, she stayed in ASP one day um, and it was just never paid for. And we were like, um, well, it wasn't my fault, my uh, supply teacher's fault trying to say that I was supposed to ride the yellow or the red bus. And so they were like, well, you still have a charge for ASP, so you're just going to have to pay it. I don't think my mom ever paid it because like, why would she pay for it? 
my supply teacher tried to kidnap me or something and made me get on a different bus and thought I was just gonna get off like I saw right through your plan I saw it for some reason like bugs get trapped in between the screen and my actual window so they're not inside of my room but they're not all the way outside like they're in between and it like creeps me out so there's like a spider trapped in the middle anyways but yeah so i don't think my mom ever paid that charge there's two of them no i i'm getting the creeps hold on anyways back to what i was saying so i don't think my mom ever paid the charge i never got my report card for that year so i don't know what my grades were i graduated so I went to the next school, but I just don't know what I got that year. Yeah, that's the story time of how my kindergarten teacher tried to kidnap me, okay? I don't know what would happen if I would have got off, like, just been a nonchalant kid. You know, I, I'm educated. I That year is the year that I tested into the gifted program, so I was smart. I didn't just get off like a normal kid would. Got off the bus. Got off the bus. I don't know. She would have pulled up and been like, hey. Your mom told me you're supposed to ride me or something. I don't know what would happen. But I was real educated. I really just don't know why she wouldn't make me get on the red bus. My mom said that she never said anything about me getting on a red bus. She never emailed my supply teacher. Nobody contacted my supply teacher to like tell them that I was supposed to get on the red bus or something. I don't know if they mix up the names or something. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys like story times and want to see some in the future. That's like the very first story time that I can remember. We just gonna go up from there. I'll see you guys when I see you the next time. Peace out. Dos, dos. <laughs> I'm so cringy. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I want to go see if my mom can like tell you guys her side of the story. Let's go. She may be in the shower because she just got home, but we're going to go see. Let's go. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. What's wrong? I was going to ask you about that time when I was supposed to get on the red bus and I was supposed to be on the yellow bus. Do you remember when that happened? Mm -hmm. Do you know why my teacher told me to get on the red bus? No, I don't know. Still don't know to this day. Mm, mm, mm. Did you film me? No, I'm filming me. But yeah, so she doesn't know. I don't know. She was trying. Well, I do know. She was trying to kidnap me. I just don't know what's wrong with people nowadays. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Bye, guys.